Hello guys and welcome back to Excel Shared Academy. So again, I have brought over here two more questions for your practice. So let's see the questions straight away. So suppose you're studying an immediate early gene and that is induced via the RAS, RAF, Merck, ERK pathway in response to growth factor treatment of fibroblast. Okay, koi bhi cell line hone do, it is given that this pathway is being activated. Okay, now how would expression of siRNA against the RAS guanine nucleotide exchange factor affect the induction of this gene? Uh, guys, this is really very simple because we know that RAS is your uh, G protein, correct? I mean, it's given also one in a nucleotide exchange factor. And we also know that how exactly the G protein is being functional, right? That you need actually GTP for this, uh, for the RAS to get activated. And once RAS is activated, activated then only RAF, Merck and ERK. Merck and ERK are getting activated and they are containing the signaling pathway, right? So we know that GTP is required for the RAS activation. Now, suppose if you use siRNA, what is siRNA over here? It is for the silencing, right? So if suppose you use this against, it is going to uh, inhibit the induction of this gene, uh, of this gene. So what gene you're talking about here? The uh, immediate early gene, right? So this is very simple. If you ask this question, if you use SIRNA, what will happen? Right? So it's very simple. We mainly use SIRNA to silence that particular gene expression. So suppose I'm using this, I'm going to inhibit the induction of this gene. Very simple, straightforward answer. Okay? Now this is on you. You can understand how straightforward you can understand it and you can give it. So I've got another question again. A uh, specific member of the STAT family induces certain liver genes in response to stimulation by a cytokine. Okay, so here you have to remember the genus kinase pathway and here the stimulation is by the cytokine. Now, how would the induction of these genes be affected if you overexpress a dominant negative mutant of the JAK? So in the earlier, in the previous practice question, we I have uh, explained you what is dominant negative. So apply the same concept over here and then you can answer. So what will happen is that, so once the cytokine goes and binds to its receptor, okay? So same, aapke paas receptor hai, yahan pe cytokine aake bind karega, okay? So when cytokine binds to the receptor and activates the JAK kinases, it is going to phosphorylate and activate the STAT by phosphorylating it, right? Now, if suppose you have got the dominant negative mutant of the JAK, so it is going to inhibit the start activation and finally it is going to uh, block the start uh, induction also. Sorry, the, it is going to inhibit the activation of the start and finally there won't be any gene expression. Why? Because dominant negative means it is going to bind to the receptor but not able to induce any cell signaling. If you remember, okay, this is important to understand. So what is happening over here is that it is... Uh, it is going to inhibit the start activation and once there is no start activation, there won't be any gene expression. Okay? So no gene expression. Guys, uh, I have taken these kinds of questions a lot. So I'm sure that by this time you are very much thorough. Like, kis tarah ke sawal ap se puche ja sakte hain. Okay? So I hope this was helpful and uh, you got the idea how to give the answer also. So just try to convince your so uh, interview who is asking all these questions so if you like this video please smash that like button and let me know through your comments take care